Hello everyone, MC Tammer here with a video tutorial all about nested nodes. Nested nodes are the secret sauce that makes combining animations possible and are how I managed to achieve some of the more interesting animation hacks in my NIF bashed weapons. For example, with my pseudo G11, how did I manage to get the magazine to reciprocate when firing? Or for my knockoff Tech 9, how did I make the gun fire from an open bolt? You guessed it, nested nodes. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the process of nesting nodes within other nodes using NIFScope, explain some of the neat applications that this technique can be used for, and also point out some of the limitations of this technique. For the sake of simplicity, I'm not going to be making any new meshes today, but rather just messing around with the base game meshes to demonstrate the basic concept. To follow along, you're going to need a relatively recent version of NIFScope. Uh, version 2.0 or later should do the trick. Anything before that and it doesn't preserve the branch names and structure when copying, which will make this technique impossible. I'll leave a link in the video description to where you can download it. So first up, I'm going to demonstrate how we can combine animations by implanting a node inside of a pre-existing node in a base game mesh. This is how I made the G11 magazine cycle back and forth as the gun fires. So let's start with the 12.7 millimeter SMG. Locate the magazine node. And we're going to copy the bolt from the assault carbine and paste it into this magazine node so that the bolt node will go with the magazine when the player performs the reload animation. So let's load up our assault carbine mesh and locate the bolt node. Right click on it and select copy branch. We want the entire node, not just the nigh tri strips data. Then we go back to the 12.7 millimeter SMG and right click on the magazine node and select paste branch. Now all that's left to do is make the bolt look like the magazine. To do that, we right click on the nigh tri strips data of the magazine and select copy. Then right click on the nigh tri strips data of the bolt and select paste over. Let's fix the texture too while we're at it. Expand the BS shader PP lighting property and right click on the BS shader texture set and select copy. Then go back to the bolt and paste over. Now we can delete the old magazine nigh tri strips data. So right click and select remove. Then go down here and do the same with all these loose orphaned branches. Right click and select remove. At this point, I'd usually bring the mesh into Blender to fine tune the placement of the new magazine. Uh, but for the sake of keeping things moving, I'm just going to roughly adjust the uh, translation values here until it looks good enough. Now, if we import this mesh into the game, the magazine should cycle back and forth when the gun fires, but will also be removed when the player reloads. Keep in mind when making your own nested node NIF bashes that in order for this to work, the node you implant needs to be one that's animated by the same animation set as the weapon you're pasting it into. Uh, in the case of the G11, it only works because both the bolt and the magazine are controlled by the two-hand automatic attack loop animation set. Uh, this means you wouldn't be able to add the shotgun pump action 
to like a revolver or something uh, because the pump action is controlled by the two-hand rifle animation set while the revolver would be controlled by the one-hand pistol uh, animation set. So unfortunately, you can't mix and match animations between animation sets, meaning that as cool as it would look, a gun that spins the cylinder when pumped isn't possible with this technique. Another application for nested nodes is to adjust the placement of animated parts. For instance, if you've made a custom mesh that uses the sawed-off shotgun animation, but you want to change where the pivot point is when it hinges open, you can do it with nested nodes. To do that, we first need to create a new empty node by right-clicking on the top-level BS Fade node and selecting Node, then Attach Node. Select Nine Node from the pop-up list, and it will add a blank node to the mesh. I usually name this placement because you need to be careful uh, not to name it something that could be affected by animations. So uh, while it may be more descriptive, I tend to avoid names like magazine or bolt or whatever for that reason. Although I guess magazine placement or bolt placement would be okay. Anyway, now that we have our placement node created, we need to copy the entire tilting barrel node into it. Like before, we right-click, select Copy Branch, then right-click on the blank node and select Paste Branch. Now we can delete the original like we did before by right-clicking and selecting Remove. Don't forget to do that for all the orphan branches as well. Now, to adjust the placement, we can just edit the translation values for our placement node, and the entire tilting barrel and all of its sub-assemblies will move as one element. If we import this mesh into the game, the gun will hinge open at the very tip of the barrel. Again, this is a quick and dirty demonstration. You'll just have to imagine that we made a mesh where the screws are up at the very front. If you're wondering why we couldn't just directly edit the translation values for the original tilting barrel node, it's because for some reason, I think the node positions are somehow coded into the animation files. So whenever I tried doing that in the past, it would look fine in NIFScope, uh, but as soon as I brought it into the game and the animation played, it would break the mesh. But doing it this way seems to work just fine, uh, since we technically haven't changed the translation data. It's kind of like picking up someone's mattress while they're sleeping and floating it out into the middle of a lake, right? You're technically not disturbing their sleep. The last use case I've got for you is if you want to change the direction in which an animation plays. For example, let's say you're making a machine gun and want the bolt to slam forward when firing to simulate an open bolt method of operation. I'm going to demonstrate using the Assault Carbine. First, we create a blank node like we did before by right-clicking and selecting Node, then Attach Node, and choosing Ny Node. Let's rename this to be our Placement Node. Then we copy the Bolt Node into our Placement Node, 
by right-clicking and selecting Copy Branch and Paste Branch. Then we delete the original. Right-click, Remove, and do the same for all the orphaned branches. Next, we want to rotate the placement node around 180 degrees by editing the rotation values. By trial and error, I've determined that the first and last numbers should be set to 180 degrees. Then we do the same for the bolt by highlighting the nigh tri strips data and again changing the first and last number to 180. You'll see that the bolt mesh has returned to its original orientation, but its position needs to be adjusted a bit. Again, I'm not going to bother importing this into Blender, I'm just going to play around with the translation values. And now, when we import this into the game, we should have a fully functioning open bolt firearm. So that's all I have for you today. I hope this video was helpful to you. Thank you very much for watching and happy modding.